we greet to all the participants in the webinar actual analysis of health costs through electronic record. The Inter-American Center of Social Studies uh, is, is pleased to create this forum. At the same time, makes a call to all the participants to keep a, an active participation. This activity we have coordinated from the Inter-American Center for Social Security Studies uh, and the American Commission on Actuary and Funding. Uh, we will have a remote way, the president, with, uh, we will uh, welcome him and we thank all the panelists that are uh, accompanying today, accompanying us today. The topic is an, an actuarial analysis of health costs Let's us to uh, complex scenarios in moments that we are facing uh, level, at an international level, uh, in complex uh, situations due to the global economy and each national economies, and as well as sit by situations such as the pandemic and other difficulties where we can find more migration and natural disasters, environmental problems. So in these complex times, within the priorities that we have at the level of the Inter-American uh, Conference and the Inter-American Center, we have been working in res the research and academic centers to help all the social securities of the Americas. And in this way, we have uh, make a reflection on all the documentation and all the representation of the subregions uh, of the Americas. We have had news about how to deal these difficulties, what have been the, the, the challenges. And in, and in this sense, it's always in the coral point there is a very important uh, job that the actuaries made, the uh, actuarial job. Meanwhile, it has more Im information. It keeps us result and uh, just to the ready. In this sense, it's, this uh, webinar is stated with the experts in all country, in several countries that come here to talk about very important tools that is the uh, digital record or electronic record. This electronic record has been generating a BASA date, a very certain BASA date, because it's the, the register of the direct attention to people. And it's not uh, projection data. It's We are seeing here realities. And in these realities, approaching our approaches to the decision-making, at the same time, this electronic record, we can derive the consequences and the advantages on the attention model of each countries. We can be we can watch how they move because it depends on the coverage, the the service that they the services that they offer, and even we can see the epidemiological conditions on each country. So we have the record here. With a, a code, with the international uh, code of diseases, this such uh, important database uh, uh, has been working as a register uh, information. And in this form, we we are going to see that this tool has been uh, transforming in one of the more trustworthy uh, systems to the to see the funds about it, the sustainability. We are look is is a concept that we are looking all in social security. It is not simple, and it, and it is fundamented in a human right, and as well it is fundamented in very important principle such as reaching a universal coverage, avoiding the exclusion of any citizens or population that has access to these services. There are so several recommendations uh, that the McQuincy Institute have been uh, issuing that 
after the analysis of these realities, and also because there's been stating a very radical change in the system. The recommendation is, for example, to invest, and it is hopeful to invest in health prevention in order to make a recommendation such of this way and also to execute it. We need a database, a very certainty database, such as the one we are going to analyze today. There is also a very important recommendation in how to improve the, the numbers. So the, 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 the data analysis is a fundamental base in what is a prospective planification. In this sense, we mention the importance of the uh, electronic record on health. We also, it is also recommended to us to make a staggering of the system that we have um, uh, demonstrated that are effective in which uh, excellent strategies exist uh, and make a, a very favorable impact on the population and coverage. And this surgery must be done with base studies where it must demonstrate what is the impact of what are we doing. Innovation is also a, a, an important recommendation. And in this uh, electronic record in the TICS area have been uh, one of the great advantages in, on health as we are going to see today. Another recommendation its focus on how to promote and use uh, all the industries related to health. And in this sense, in the topic that we are going to see today, there has been a converge, a merge of uh, interest in health and what has been uh, uh, the possibility to make strategies with infrastructure, technological infrastructure of the countries, because in other way, health cannot improve uh, with these strategic alliances and with this potentiality of the industries that are developed in this area. One of the fundamentals that are recommended to us yeah, is related with our um, Inter-America Center for Social Security Study, and it is to train people using all the media and the technologies for their knowledge to be uh, transmitted. In this sense, I want to present the moderator of the activity. We have here with us Maestro Jorge Alberto Romero Toral. He's a specialist that gathers uh, the Inter-American uh, Center for Social Security Studies with the American Commission on Actuary and Funding. He's bachelor uh, on economy and holds a master on social studies by the uh, Universidad Autónoma Metropolitana. He has uh, the honor medal uh, in the same uh, institution. He has collaborated in different uh, activities in the Senate of the Republic. He has a year experience of, uh, of professor and research in Wamstapalapa in the line of uh, political economy, development uh, of social economy and history of economy. He was a consultant at the economy uh, department at WAM. He collaborated. He, he was coordinator in the coordination of social security training uh, on the building uh, of evaluation tools. He also con collaborated in INEGI as a co-responsible of the geostatistical base. He has published uh, articles and, and book chapters. He has presented as panelists 
in Congress at the international national level. We have the uh, we are pleased to be to have him as an American Commission on Actuarian Funding and part of the team of the Inter-American Center for Social Security Studies, as well as the researchers that are promoting these uh, spaces to promote uh, knowledge. Good day to all the ones who are connected here. Thank you, Dr. Adesi. I also want to tell that uh, Dr. Wendolin uh, is here with us, a research co coordinator of CS. Let's uh, begin the, this webinar called Actuarial Analysis of Health Costs Through the Electronic Record. And a little bit of a background. The good practices resulting from the implementation of the digital records, for example, other countries of the region, have motivated the American Commission on Actuary and Funding to consider whether the statistical information collected serves the interests of act actuarial research. It is therefore pro proposed to encourage dialogue on this uh, topic. While it is true that the actuary's task is to evaluate the economical, um, economic, social, demographic, and financial parameter for analysis and financial solvency projection of social security schemes, this diversity of platforms that systematize information are currently beneficial in all fields of knowledge for social security. It is about opening the reflection on the utility from this area. It's part of the search to keep expanding the knowledge of actuaries. This webinar is aimed at members institution of the Inter-American uh, Conference on Social Security to researchers, academics, uh, or organize NGOs, civil society, and public in general. The objective uh, of this activity is reflect on the importance of data collection for the uh, actual and financial val valuation on social security systems and discuss whether these electronic records are, used, are a useful tool that could help us on the actual, for the actual community. I'm going to present Maestro Manuel Rodriguez Arce. He's a project manager, digital single health fund, EDUS, of the Costa Rican Social Security Fund. He's bachelor on informatics with an emphasis on information systems. He holds a master in project management. He holds also a, ma a master degree in health services management, certificate of the safety, quality, informatics, and leadership program at the Harvard University School of Medicine. He has more than 18 years of uh, uh, professional background in the field digital health. He currently is a director of the single digital record in health uh, of Costa Rica, winner of the United Nations Public Service Award in 2019. In the recent years, he has led the process of, of implementation solutions in health change management, training, mobile, Mobile Health and Innovation at the Costa Rican Social Security Fund. The title of his paper is Unique Digital Record in Health Edus, edus Towards the Transformation of Health Services in Costa Rica. we we'll give you the, the, the floor. Good day, Jorge. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Cis, to the invitation. A very special uh, greeting to Dr. Dr. Adesi Corrales and to the public in general. Greetings here from Costa Rica. I'm going to share my, my presentation. Thank you very much. For me, I would like to share the experience from the Costa Rican um, Social Security Firm and from the optic or perspective of the health um, Digital Hericle. Whenever we talk of uh, digital health and uh, record, this uh, phrase from Heraclit is very uh, pertinent. The only thing that remains co constant is change. Because everything is changing in the ecosystem of uh, social security, 
We are looking very accelerated change in the technologies very quickly in these areas. And as we have seen very clear, the pandemic consolidated these uh, digital strategies. And then we have here, we must be clear that any technological implementation uh, leads to a process of changes in a lot of areas. As we can see, there will be people that are uh, innovators and uh, adapt uh, technologies very early, whether it is a uh, product or technology advance. We advance in this, in this peak of the curve and other people who ad adopt these uh, technologies uh, late. And also we have people that, adapt, adopt, that doesn't adapt these technologies. Uh, indeed, this digital health and all these components are el very important elements. Of, of course, the actual analysis to warrant the sustainability of these uh, technologies. I share these uh, slides. This is a document very important of last year, a global strategy on digital health of the WHO. And among the important elements, it's it state that this strategy is uh, to improve health for everyone by a, with a focus uh, of accessible, affordable, and scalable, scalable and sustainable person technique. We need to prevent, detect, and respond. We are talking about it, how to do this uh, in a very opportune way. And to we, we must anticipate these tendencies and take decision, make decisions based on evidence and more objective uh, evidence. And not something very important is how to use this database. database. In the same uh, line with this document, these are the strategic objective to promote global uh, collaboration, and advanced digital health knowledge transfer. This is very important if, because if we think to implement this uh, electronic record and to establish this, uh, some elements, financial elements, we need to, to see how, how can we implement this technology and this uh, digital uh, knowledge on the on the uh, digital health, it is very important in order to have a big, Im bigger impact in a globally and a national uh, and regional levels. In order to have a, a lot more elements, we need to work in a web. The idea is to tr be able to tra track the patient in all the health services. Strengthening uh, governance for digital health at the global, regional, and national level is also very important in the health system. And finally, as we have already said, how can we do uh, for this system to be centered on people? This is very recent and it's a publication at the Lancet and Financial Times how can they how can they they are uh, looking for the uh, a agenda 2030 the topic of digital health is really considered as a key element to analyze the context on how to to we have a social security services and what is the impact on the population in the Costa Rican case, the, uh, the digital file covers all the uh, web uh, of um, social security fund we have in primary attention. 
in uh, come from in 105 uh, held areas. We have a very fake and original uh, hospital as well as national and specialized uh, hospitals. It is very important the coverage as uh, of the Costa Rican Social Security Fund. It's also it's about the ninety point ninety two percent of health insurance coverage. Coverage the budget in health is uh, nine point three uh, of the GDP on health. Uh, and the budget is uh, seven point nine billion dollars. It's also forty six percent of the of government's pro project. I'm going to show you how is this uh, base structure. We have the core, uh, the med medical expedient. We have the register of attentions. Uh, and we have four main scenarios that is external consultation in the first and level and specialized hospitalization, emergencies, and surgeries. We take a lot from the base to integrate uh, other modules. And main of these uh, uh, core elements of the digital expedient. A familiar uh, database in the confirmation of the uh, uh, primary attention in Costa Rica, we have a role of that is called a system. And it consists to, to make a visits at the, at the home of the people and take some relevant data to the situational analysis on uh, education of primary attention. Each device covers at least 4,000 people. And these tab visits are around 1,000 uh, houses. And he, he had some database, uh, familiar database. Nowadays we have more than 80% of the houses, uh, the countries in this database. It also visits uh, the with a tablet which allows to georeferenceate these uh, housings. This is very interesting because we can a uh, holistic analysis with people or, or the family, uh, taking into consideration psychosocial elements, where does he lives, what are the risks uh, near to their families, to their house houses. And all this, uh, the doctor can see it in this Way, the analysis is really complete. Uh, and so the patient, when he goes to the consultation, the doctor can see these psychosocial elements. Another element is the support services that is very relevant. Pathology, lab laboratory, pharmaceutics, radiology, etc. And it is very important in, the, in what we call health and services, which are all the technologies that we are in contact with the patient. When we think in digital health, we think, what are we going to give, you, give to the patient? Because we are centered on the patient. Because the aim is to empower them in health issues. You will see several elements of And of uh, cloud computing, that all of these are part, and it is they are important to and uh, data analysis and decision ma making. So database a million people attached to health centers. It, this is important because we include also foreigners uh, that are using health systems, health services. This is important because we have a profile, a demographic, very detailed demographic 
population. Where do they live? Uh, sex, ages. And to make population analysis is really relevant. Nowadays, we have more than 112 million care with digital medical records. This is 90% 90, 90 of the total care of the health services. We have, uh, in this way, a very integral uh, vision to decision-making based on level of attention and to the track of the patient. We also have uh, more, almost 6,000 uh, recipes with electro electronic registration. With this, we can see how effective is amazing in a, a group of population. And we have uh, more than 1,740,000 1, families and homes registered with uh, this biopsychosocial approach. This uh, analysis included uh, several, several of database that help us nowadays we have uh, still uh, to plan uh, a financial uh, resource. And we are in process to do that. This the interesting is that this model demands us uh, that information that it are in the electronic record. For example, in the cost uh, topic. So let's say that in a very general way, a solution of electronic record. We have this big uh, these four uh, data information group, the demographic demographic data through one of the systems uh, is very important because it's, uh, the, the EDUS is a confirmation of several uh, data. The demographic data, as I was saying, who, what is, we, the person who is, whether he's working or not, where does he lives, where, what are the conditions of the, its environment, and other uh, very important elements. As well, we have the context. The family in his housing, which is very important. Well, in by register uh, this database, we have to to do to register what are the health what what is the health team that is attending these people? Who is helping? Who is who make the pre consult? How does it it is made? If whether he re requires another consultation with the digital ec record, we really have a very complete uh, database. Whether he is going to be sent to an emergency hospital or a specialized uh, uh, professional health, and uh, the doctor can also see all the experience, all the health background all the medicines that he has taken. And it is important to see who participates in this attention pro process. The digital record also allows us to know which procedures, which treatments and diagnostics have these pa patients. If a patient, for example, is a chronicle, that uh, monthly he is going to use these um, medicines, whether he requires um, radiology or any other uh, treatments uh, is going to be stated in this uh, record. This, for example, I share this da real dashboard. That, that are done by the statistic area. Where with, in, with this information, whether in the local or uh, national area, uh, they could say, because having uh, this uh, health system could take, uh, could allow uh, 
and in the pandem- during the pandemic, whether they had uh, enough uh, beds to take patients or not, or to which hospital they were taking the diseases. So the, the, the decision maker, maker was able to see the state of the situation in every region. So how to start using this information in a more proactive way and how to visualize this information in a more prospective way. And let's, when we talk on information generated by this health record, we mustn't focus on the actual tendencies in what the users are registering, because it's very important what are the, user, the patients registering. For example, we have a mobile application where the, the patients uh, may put information general information, they, the patients can add some data, for example, a height, a height, weight. We have, for example, in the COVID topic, the, uh, the oxygenation uh, topic. If a patient has uh, any consultation in a private hospital, they can register in this uh, application. Information of a health record, it not only comes from the health services, it also comes from the patient. In this way, we are going to empower people in its own health. Because the people are uh, every day more informed and this information that is registered here can be seen by a doctor, by a specialist. So it is very important this electric record is not only a health record comes from the state, but also from the patient. I have a mobile phone or a smartwatch. I can integrate it into this element and it's going to start generate data of the patients. And perhaps I wanted to share where are we going? This is an image that I want to share with you because it's a very important perspective uh, information that they are generating. And what they are saying here is that, uh, that how uh, in this Next 10 years, uh, does the technology is going to make uh, projections on health records. In this other uh, screen, we have a, a column with, of years and a column of benefits. When we are talking really of benef- transformational uh, benefits that has a very strong in, uh, impact, we are talking on algorithmic medicine and on uh, precision medicine, collaboration, and genomic medicine. At the end, in order that I can start working with these topics, I need data. I I need all the information available. In 2020 tendency, all of these technologies were expected in in what uh, they were going to advance in the next 10 years. But in this year, it is not more than 10 years. It is in the, in the next five, 10 years. Definitely the, the best way of obtaining this uh, information is with uh, the electronic records, health records. In the, we can also see how, how is going to be the future of the medicine in the next 10 years? Uh, According to the uh, genomic condition, with this DNA information, we have to start thinking that uh, of a personalized uh, medicine. If I know the patients, I know what what is its diagnosis, its profile. I have to start to to generate more data to help this patient 
in a more uh, personalized way because the patient is expecting more empathy from the professional of health. Well, I think that actuarial formation, this, all of this is uh, very important for the actuarial uh, information. For example, I want to, to see some percentage of the population that has any a specific uh, illness. Uh, in this way, I, I'm going to be more effective in the treatment of each uh, patient. In order to make these decisions, I, we need data. And we need this data to be organized and structured in this way, in this sense. We can see this chart because when we're talking how to analyze that, we have these steps in a very general way. In this, we, have, we, we can gather in, in this forest step. The descriptive analysis, what happened? Why the next one is uh, why does it happen? Which is a, a diagnostic analysis. The topic of medicine. Uh, we need to, in medicine. We need a pres predictive analysis. What is going to happen in order to be prepared? and to see uh, tendencies and behaviors. And in, in this sense, uh, we, we have the prescriptive analysis. How can, we, how can we make for this to happen? Uh, promotion of health, for example, the topic, promotion and prevention of health and how technology help this, to facilitate these processes and in this popul in the population it is very relevant to start to opt optimize uh, data very differently on how we were doing it uh, past years uh, we need more predictive focus i wanted to share quickly the first project uh, that at the level of the electronic record we are elaborating we are building an algorithm uh, to predict diabetes. Look, there are a lot of algorithms that you cannot download from internet. You have to make them. In the first one uh, phase of uh, data analysis, we really need to uh, have quality data. This uh, type of models, we, we have to adapt it to our own reality in order to be useful to the population. And the second phase, we are preparing all this data in order to applying all these techniques in the health services uh, issues all the statistic and actual uh, information, financial information is very relevant. It is very relevant also because we are talking on multidisciplinary teams, statistics, a, a professional, a clinical professional to understand what are the variables. And all the uh, elements, for example, in the diabetes. We look at solutions on how we have a, a probability to predict uh, uh, the incidence of a disease. When, when I receive a patient, the, the level of attention, automatically with all the data that I, ha that I have, I am going to be able to say, well, you have a probability of an added 80% percent probability of becoming a diabetes. Let's uh, work with prevention and promotion. And this early promotion of health is going to improve uh, the health of population health. I wanted to tell you a little bit in the, this past last minute how the social security fund is going. This is our vision. 
we have the micro focus, the middle focus, and the macro focus. When we are uh, when we talk about micro focus, we are talking about the individual. The family and the housing is very important. We have a program here that we are promoting a digital intelligent and promotion of health. When we think in technology, we need to, to make a, a web uh, focus. How this electronic record must be related with uh, logistic and financial systems. In the case of the Costa Rican Social Security Fund, we start. We are starting to integrate all these elements. For example, another uh, ele important element is tell the health, health promotion, and is very important. And finally, as we were saying, community and environment is very important. Health services are not only responsible for the health of the of the population. We need to generate new technologies to have an interoperability. Link with the issues, collectivities, uh, as well as connectivity, the use of uh, wearables and uh, apps, mobile applications, uh, and as well as um, uh, other alternative uh, alternatives such as machine learner chatbots, etc. All of this is very linked with uh, the safety of the information. Our legislation have all, this inform all the information that is generating uh, in this, uh, uh, all the patients and in this electronic record. How can we share that? All these data. Uh, so this is very a very important issue when we are talking when we are talking of uh, the implementation of these electronic records. This is going to be the next hospital that is building in Costa Rica. And the idea is that there is a digital hospital. When we talk about a digital hospital. We adopt the HIMS model. I close with this. Why is it important to invest in digital health besides all the benefits that we have told? Well, because it increases the safety of the patients. It improves the quality of care indicators. Uh, I, can, I can state uh, that I am uh, applying the, the a specific medicine for the specific patient. When more technology do I have uh, in a health establishment, establishment it, it's easier to, to monitor what is going on. Uh, for in, uh, so we have a real, uh, we have data in real time. Because I have a more clear panorama and scenario in order to integrate this electronic record. It also reduces cost at, and improves uh, the use of existing resources. So the re, the re of the patients, for example, or not to double uh, the attention of one for one patient. And it also increases the satisfaction of internal and external patients because they have more to, to, to record or his, his own health. Thank you very much for the space. And with this, I close my participation.
Thank you very much, Maestro Manuel, for this uh, presentation. Making this uh, electronic uh, record is very important for actuaries because it will generate a lot of variables in which we will be able to work to make this analysis and uh, diseases prediction. I believe that it is very interesting to treat this topic and see in which way we can look these new ways of uh, data collecting that are generating itself in the electronic report. We have uh, no more than a decade of these tools, and we are uh, advancing very quickly to obtain information for actor. Let's go into to uh, continue with the next uh, panelist. He's Dr. Edwin Rolando Garcia Qual. Uh, Gal, he's head of the actuarial and statistic, uh, st statistical department of the Guatemalan Social Securities Institute. He's a doctor in economy with specialization in actual work for social security in the city of Montevideo. Analysis and interpretation on actuarial studies in Mexico, United Nations Development Program and International Labor Organization. He holds a postgraduate degree in statistical modeling at the USAC, Instruments for Economic Analysis at the National University of Costa Rica, and Inferential Statistics at the Rafael Landivar University of Guatemala. He graduated from Economic Studies at the University of Tilburg, Netherlands. Uh, he holds also a Master of Economic at Wageningen University of, uh, at the Netherlands and as economist at the social at the School of Economics in the at the University of San Carlos in Guatemala. He is a health economist representative of Guatemala in the system of health accounts to the WHO. He teaches uh, at the Faculty of Health Sciences at the Rafael Andivar University and the Metropolitan University Center of the USAC. He is a professor at the Master of Sanitary Engineering of the University of International at the School of Administration of Mariano Galvez University. And since 1995, he has been a teacher at the School of Economics at the USEC. The title of his paper is Actual Analysis of Health Costs Through the Electronic Record. We will give the floor to the doctor. Thank you very much. Good day to all of you. I thank the invitation. And let's share a little bit of the experience that we have had from Guatemala. The topic is the uh, actual analysis of health costs uh, through electronic uh, record. For this, we have stated uh, the uh, presentation in three uh, parts, generalities. The Medic IG Comprehensive Information System established by the 5-2005 uh, agreement of the Guatemalan Social Security Institute is an uh, electronic file that it is intended to ensure the ability of a availability and reliability data to perform inter alia actuarial work, considering data privacy from its structure. The medics register, process, and generates health production information in its different modalities because it is uh, mandatory for all the units of the institute may gather uh, information including outsource, outsource services. Data validation is based on consolidated reports of X and as well of the uh, actuarial department and statistical. The, the reports
we can plan a, a many consolidated plan, a more mobility by specific cost by racialities, the attention by individual uh, physician to attend the insult uh, capacity and the attention according age, place of the patient. The reports that are in external and emergency consultant uh, may be productions by holder, by specialities, and by doctor, or specific by prescriptions costs give to the patient. In the topic of hospitalization, the information can be of, uh, discharged by type of risk, for example, maternity, illness, accident, or by uh, entitled person or as well as hospital indicators such as morbidity, leave discharges and deaths, demographic data of the patients. And the, uh, for example, the daily census, uh, it provides a daily movement of patients. We have make two ways of uh, processing information. The automatized uh, modality, that is medics, Directly uh, attended by the by the profession, health professional at the medical unit. He's uh, putting all the information into the database. But also we have a informatized uh, modality. We have to do it for the medium uh, services that are not linked directly to the patient. This uh, inter medial. Uh, Information is lab, uh, uh, for example, lab uh, information. It is, uh, and it is realized in, in a non-centralized way. Each doctor can make use of uh, all this uh, database. And it, let's see, for example, for emergency. We have the professional of health and the center of statistic production. Uh, the professional uh, goes into the system uh, attending the patient and put all the information, um, makes a, a diagnosis and evaluates the patient. If it is hospitalized, uh, 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 the hospital prescription, it seals the formulary. After this, uh, uh, information is generated and to the, the statistical uh, and actuarial department, it sends a, a monthly report and generate this uh, a specific file. And in this, uh, in this part, uh, the department, the statistic and actual department corrects uh, if, whether this file has uh, little errors, for example. In external consultation, for example, the secretary accredits the uh, rights of the patients. The secretary of external consultants gives uh, assistance and to the program uh, information and register the information in the system, the profession, health prof professional uh, register uh, a medical history, examine, diagnose, and prescribe according to uh, uh, this diagnose, uh, print this, uh, the prescription. Uh, the secretary uh, programs a new, a new appointment while the, uh, it's generating the, docu the administration uh, documentation and as well the it register codified digits and elaborate a report. 
In uh, hospitalization cases, we have the three modalities, uh, informatized, automatized, and the uh, modality and the automatized uh, services in order to generate information. The in access to the system can also be done, can only be done for the patient. As we can see here, this uh, access window for the for each patient where we have all the information, number, number of affiliation, direction, address, uh, sex, age, telephone, all the ID information. Then we have the, the way of how are we can also measure each time the, the patient is, is making an appointment. And for example, in the case of the patient, we can see the number of affiliation, affiliation of the patient, all the risks that he, and diseases that he has been attended in each hospitality where, All, and in general, all the data relations of the patients, the, the medical attention, the demographic variable variabilities, the times, the medicines that he has uh, been prescripted. In the past, Unity by medical uh, unity by region. We need the cost of a specific medicine, and this was the way in which we were using this. Adding and adding and adding information to make the analysis. But now we are modifying. Thanks, we've been establishing a preventive uh, policy on social security. We are going to make the procedures in order to the information to, to, to be in a micro level to prevent diseases, instead of waiting that the patient approaches us when the patient already had the disease. We have all, all the buttons that register the appointments, uh, the hospitalization. In the case of COVID, we register uh, all the data uh, that the COVID uh, gave us. All these reports that we prepared with this structure, we are going to change it according to costs. Costs that we want to reach to determine how, how much a patient is cost on of a, a patient of social security patient. I'm going to present here the, the report that is connected with the medics. We have here the amount of the prescription emitted. There's the type of services, surgeries, orthopedy, ophthalmology, we see the costs of each uh, prescription, and in this way, we connect it to variable to measure and establish a fixed cost and variable and co cost beyond the cost of the medicine. At an individual level, medics only reports the cost of the medicines, which is what I give directly to the patient. 
but also uh, inform inform uh, in order to determine the, the general cost of some of medicines, the amount of medicines that are given. We have this in a monthly indicator affiliated. We have uh, one. Uh, 192,676 affiliated. We have the, the wives of the beneficiaries of the, the sons of the beneficiaries. And we can see here how many um, consultations that were generated in a month. All the pensioners, for example, and we have also our accident program. As we can see, the tendency of is to unify diagnosed medicines. And the total cost of the medicine delivered in that month. And we also have a report on the most uh, expensive uh, affiliated. It costs, for example, in this case, 8.9 million of quetzales. The reports that are generated are, can be made by affiliated, uh, the beneficiaries the, of the regions of the Republic, the percentage generated by a geographic uh, report or by medical unit. We can also make uh, analysis in for each report by kind of a diagnose and disease. Hypertension, diabetes, we have here the total of diagnosis, the total of medic medicines and the cost of each uh, of these uh, diseases. We have also, we can also make reports of the medicine, specifically by name of a, uh, medicines to see that the total of uh, med medicines delivered and the cost and then when we push when we make merge cost uh, variable and fix a uh, cost complementary spenders we can have this kind of reports in the for example in the general uh, hospital of diseases we have uh, the amount of uh, we spent in personal services, in non-personal services, in materials and resources, then foundations, and we have here a, a, an average cost. That information that we obtain of medics in all these the years that we have, we have. Uh, orienting them to the this an actuarial analysis. For example, the the cost of of the service, um, personal services, non personal um, uh, services, insulin materials, and through accountability and administrative spend. We can establish then the cost for, for diseases, for regions, considering final services. By other way, we use this information to establish the cost by cover risk, the amount of uh, consultations, diseases, maternity, accident, accidents, the days uh, uh, the beds were occupied, emergencies and all this data we used in the actual uh, unit. If we, if we make the analysis of chronic diseases, we can see the unit value delivered by disease uh, by each institutional uh, uh, medical unit. We can make the analysis of the specific illnesses of these uh, chronic diseases. Finally, we, we raise all this 
in a accountable result. We have here, for example, the incomes, the costs, and so we can establish the, the results of the exercise. If we add uh, the if we add this, we can uh, see the level of sustainability. And to make this kind of uh, data analysis by year. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Edwin. With, with this uh, speech, We've, we are uh, reaching the objective of this webinar. Indeed, the electronic digital files on health uh, have a, a very useful tool. It is an uh, integral system. We can see with the explanation that Edwin are giving us that this uh, ad reports all the data information that has been generating. And we can uh, make uh, indicator resumes, uh, for example, for diagnose, medicines, total uh, cost, affiliates, the cost for uh, risk cost, for example. Thank you very much for your participation, Dr. Edwin. And let's go to the panelist. Uh, uh, Maestra Actuary Maria Dolores Castro Rivero. She is head of the Department of the Health Insurance Sector and is a policy and institutional planning. She graduated uh, from the Faculty of Science at the Autonomous University of Mexico. She holds a master's degree in management health services by the University, University of Alcalá de Henares, de Henares and the International Organization Health Services in Spain. He holds a diploma in financial and a diploma in social-based budgeting. Currently, she works uh, as a responsible uh, for the medical cost systems of the ISTE. She's an expert in medical cost stock exchange systems and rela relational database. She was a system director of the bro brokerage house at BBVA Robursa Mission Critical, and at the banking systems with neural networks, among others. In his hobbies, it is the triathlon reading and li living with family and friends. Then the title of the, uh, her paper is The Wars Financial Evaluation by Patient and the Impact of Risks on Health uh, Insurance. We give floor to Maestra Maria Dolores. We have this hope. We can solve it quickly. Please, uh, 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 panelists. She's already connected. Maestra Maria Dolores, are you listening to us? I'm sorry, I had a problem, but I'm here with you. We are pleased to have you. Well, we start with your, uh, we give you the floor. Thank you very much for me, The presentation, this is the content of the presentation. We will,
I belong to the Institute for Social Security and Services for State Workers, ISTE. It is a public decentralized organism with juridic personality and proper patrimony. muy importante para el país es la que lleva las finanzas públicas y el CONAPO es un Consejo Nacional de la Población que realiza proyecciones eh, y programas de población y vinculados con el desarrollo económico y social and social development of public sector. En esto se puede observar In this you can see that the population has a sustained trend of growth and therefore it will uh, increasingly demand more health services. This uh, growth is also um, provoking that the population age and therefore more health services are needed. We know that uh, public spending on health, uh, destined on health, of the GDP has shown a, a very important decline. We have less budget and more health problems. In 20 years, the eligible, eligible population of the Institute has grown by 3.4 million, according to the financial report of 2021. Next one. In this chart, uh, also from the financial and actuarial report of 2021, we can see that in 2020, the five uh, groups of diseases that has the third part of the budget on health was cancer, cardiovascular diseases, chronic uh, kidney failure, diabetes, and art uh, arterial hypertension. According to these projections, by 2050, uh, uh, the spending on these same diseases will be projected at 66.3 billion pesos. It is important to reflect that the increase in diseases and projected resources obliged to check the gear model uh, of the operation of ISTE. We know that uh, we have limited human, financial, and material resources. And as we are seeing, in a future, they are going to be unsustainable. So in order to define uh, successful policies and strategies to reduce the financial impact of diseases without diminishing the attention to the patient. No, anterior, por favor. Eh, podemos, eh, we can see that uh, diseases that are presenting are very expensive, very complex, and we have to see which are the most common. At the same time, the diseases demand to have uh, installed capacities, and understanding installed capacity, equipment, per staff, me medical and special staff, and as well to have the necessary resources such as medicines and also to have to be all the studies, the surgeons and all the things required to attend the patients. All of this is required, is related and demands to a cost a which are, have a financial impact projecting and identifying risks and facilitating its impact. The Institute has a system of uh, medical calculation costs. 
it was installed since 2008, and this system has a, a continuous improvement. We have a more detailed information, and this system have, uh, is used to determine the, the cost of the ESE. Understanding by service, a physical area with staff and assigned budget to the to the expenses that they, it requires. Then we have the serv the classification in three services: administrative service, support services, and a patient uh, support center, which are subdivided in final uh, services, diagnosis, and treatment services. The methodology that is used to determine the cost of the institute is are based on the technique of uh, each medical unit. And each unit med is com confirmed by the spending on uh, administrative uh, medical uh, staff, all the uh, services, the medicines, the general services and the depreciation of uh, the building and the uh, equipment that is required. The methodology is sectorial and is based in cost, uh, in the technique of cost center. And the costs that are generating are related to the uh, public account of the institute each year. In this moment, at the end of 2021, we have already the costs of uh, the last year. The steps followed are the, the, the following. Uh, the direct costs are determined of all the services of medical units. Later, it is determines the indirect cost of uh, each uh, services. And finally, it has the total cost. We have the direct cost plus the indirect cost, which uh, gives the total cost. And then we have the average cost, which are which is calculated by the total cost and the uh, medical activity reported in each of these centers. Where are we getting at? I'm sorry. The current situation, we we can do uh, the gener the generation of indirect or indirect direct uh, average cost by activity and studies of all the medical units of the institute and for all the medical services of the institute. At the midterm, we want to make uh, the, we, we want to automatize the, co the, the cost of uh, economical medical cards. These uh, economical medical cards, I would like first to introduce you what is GRD, it's a tool that was implemented in our country by the ISTE in, 12, in 12, 2012 and uses these uh, medical economic cards that allows to cost uh, all the diseases. These economical, uh, economic medical cards have the methodology of identifying the most representative diagnosis with the number of, uh, of, of cases as well to the relative uh, number of cases. Therefore, you, we can know the relative cost of all the resources, of all the services. And it is and this allows us to see the average cost per patient 
and per diseases. The Institute nowadays have 75 economic medical cards and works in 25 for hospitalization and other 27 for ambulatory. They, they are going to be integrated in the system to be, to be funded annually and can have an instrument, uh, an additional tool, more precise uh, for diseases uh, of the five groups that we that I mentioned at the beginning, because we know that they they have the third uh, amount of money spent on health. It and uh, it is very difficult because we know that this uh, is a very violent uh, diseases. At the long term, we want to have uh, automatized uh, indicators in order to detect uh, red flags taking into, take into consideration. I would like to highlight uh, what is a cost. What is a medical cost is calculated according. A cost is the economical value that required to, to produce a, a service or an activity. This means that what do I have to spend to generate those projects will be determined the unit cost of each of them. It is important to highlight that the medical part, a high cost does not mean necessarily that be a, a inefficient medical unit because it intervenes a complexity factor. It means that the um, same consultation given, given in a hospital that has sophisticated uh, and equipment staff is going to be much more higher than if I realize it in another unit, medical unit with less uh, conditions. This leads us to define the very clear strategies in which, where are we going to uh, have the, the complex diseases. In order to uh, use the specific uh, equipments to specific uh, diseases. This is a very uh, important point that, I, point that I wanted to highlight. From uh, a long term, Objective, we are uh, mentioning the electronic record that we don't have nowadays. Of course, it would, uh, it would give more preci precision in the cost of uh, medicines, diseases, because we, will we would have a tool to measure uh, generated by a economic medical card in which uh, the expert would tell how this treat, how this disease would have uh, be treated, as well as to, to detect good and bad practices to correct, and having the same quality, we could maybe diminish the financial impact. The proposed actions due to this uh, major financial ch challenge that ISTE has is to define as pol policies and strategies that we have already done, but we still are building new strategies. We have to determine costs of major illnesses or diseases to focus on how to solve the problem and as well to, to improve the use of, the, of all the resources. We also have to monitor the economic impact of these diseases in order to, the, to generate uh, clusters, to classify them and, and define solving access. We also are looking to optimize costs for a better balance with income without affecting the quality of all the services. ISTE have received a 
apportation of all these affiliated of the government, um, those are it, their incomes. So we need to use them a be, in the best way. We are also, we want also to promote uh, preventive programs that slows or decreases the growth of, of the curative care because the curative care is very expensive. And if we don't plan in the preventive way, it's going to be very difficult, the financial uh, situation uh, in the future. We will define uh, alternatives of uh, procedures and drugs with equal or greater effectiveness but lower cost. The ISE is the is of the few organisms that has uh, all the services and medical units are cost, and they are not estimations. They are calculated based on the income. Of uh, the public account on each year. It is important to say that thanks to the systems that the Institute has, it is possible due to the spending are, is registered at the federal level, national level of the Mexican government. We don't have the expenditures by each service, but luckily for ISTE, they have, we have systems that allow to have this cost in a, at the service level. So the operation cost uh, at, at an operation cost level, it's it's a very low budget. And we also uh, want to uh, increase the uh, accuracy in the cost of health services in order to detect anomalies and to correct strategies that has in financial impact that uh, undesirable financial impact. I would like to show you this information uh, that is all the possible products that we can have at the Institute. In the first part, in, we can see the current scope. As I mentioned, we have the co total cost per service, the average cost per activity and studies. And obviously, we this all cost, we can also look for a level of attention for medical uh, unit, because each level of attention has different un unit, me medical unit with different conditions. And finally, in the third level, we only have two types of units, the National Medical Center and regional uh, uh, hospitals that uh, works uh, on a decentralized way. They, they are a great big deal of the uh, hospital area attention and we can know the cost not only attention and uh, at an attention level, but at medical units specifically. My other, what are we doing with the general costs on the Institute? Annually, we make the annual, uh, the annual record of all the costs and operative uh, spendings of the Institute. This means that even though we generate different cost vectors, they are different according to the conditions that are needed. For example, in the non-affiliated patients, they, it's not it's not includes uh, medicines in some cases. And it, uh, these rates uh, are not payable by the beneficiaries. We have also we are also working on a tariff for exchange of services because we would like 
to walk through universalization of uh, health services and with this to define in a first phase to define and the the, the first uh, amount of uh, medical services for all the people. Uh, in this phase, uh, a lot of institutions are participating, such as Sedena and IMSS. Nowadays, we have the cost of specific uh, conditions through the economic medical cards that are 75. And with this, we can nowadays to make a study, financial studies, in order to improve. Uh, the use of resources. In the first uh, stage, with the uh, clinical record, we could have the cost of uh, clinical record and specific conditions. We could have uh, personal data according as well to the economic medical certis certificate. We have with uh, all the da personal data of, of affiliated. Llenando de información de variable para el análisis actuarial. Y Being gathered for actuarial analysis, and with this last presentation, we see how um, a, a different methodology is presented is presented regarding Guatemala. We end. Let's go to the question and answer session. We have here three different uh, questions that uh, I will leave to the panelists. Co the coverage of automatized system on social security in Guatemala is developed at the national level, and they would like to know if they are interconnected with the first level of attention. The second question, is the system in Costa Rica produce information enough information to establish costs by group related to diagnosis, GRD? And the third question is for the last panelist. You, if you could indicate the actuarial model, the mathematical and formulas uh, model for. for by which the uh, income are uh, presented. So we are going to give a floor to our panelists. Who would like to start? Uh, in Guatemala, the medics is uh, developed for a national level and it, it it is also for the national level of attention. I would like to say that the Guatemalan Institute for Social Security is established in all the regions of, uh, of the Republic. The medics is mandatory and it is interconnected with, with one of the 121 medical units. We are talking of peripheral units and hospitals. We don't work as a Ministry of Public Health is done. They do have uh, health uh, positions with a, a nursing uh, auxiliary in rural areas. We are uh, located in uh, urban areas. That is why we don't have a difficulty of interconnection. We are interconnected. 
with all our medical unit, units and the medics is, is used. Therefore, I cannot answer for the moment whether we would have to be at the first level of attention, but we are going there because uh, we, uh, we have, because prevention uh, system is really important for us. We are trying to implement a prevention system with all the medics information, with unfamiliar information that we are going to establish, whether we can define what the patient will have in the future in order to make a preventive inter intervention. But for the moment, our intervention occurs when there is an accident or when the affiliated is approaches us uh, to ask for medical attention. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now we are going to the next panelist, Dr. Manuel. If you would like to ask, answer, please. Thank you very much. It is very important in this moment in the Costa Rican Social Security Fund is actualizing the cost models. It's a strategic uh, model. And for future, the idea is that we start uh, to fund the services to the GDR. Uh, through the coordination we have done, a lot of the information comes from the digital file, but it's also important that in this case, we have to analyze processes and procedures. It is a project that is in execution. And we coordinate a lot of the topics with this project, but today we don't have implemented this process. It is a, a part of a strategic project that is advancing very importantly. And a lot of the informational variables are there at the electronic file, but there is still a other um, information that is needed. Thank you very much. Then we go to our last panelist. Would you like permit if you can read me the uh, question again? The public were asking if you could indicate which is the actual model. The mathematical, mathematical model and all the formal formulas by which the income were projected. First of all, let's say that the institute generates the cost, the annual cost based on its uh, operation uh, cost and according to the public account. Those data are, pro are, are given to the area. Uh, that generates this, uh, an actuarial inform. It makes this calculation, and I know that these calculations are very extensive. I don't have them specifically right now to share it. It is just a process, a specific area that um, uses all the incomes and the medical costs for all the services at an institutional level, and with this, uh, it makes a projection. I wouldn't be the, the appropriate person to do the specific calculations. And that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, by other, another uh, last participation. I would like to highlight that the efforts that has been done and all the advancement for the precision and the measurement of a uh, financial impact are according with the a objective stated by Mexican president and is the director. It's interest to optimize resources and they are establishing st strategies on the first level of attention in order to reinforce the preventive part. And there's making a, actions with the information. But we will, we are going to see this impact in a future uh, term. Can I share something? Yes, please. I'm going to put a, a slide in order to observe. When I talk of parametrization, uh, 
that we realize of uh, the information that is already on the database. This is the formula for all the actual analysis. That results the plus the a fixed cost plus a variable direct cost plus indirect fixed costs plus variable and direct costs plus a fixed cost and variable cost. The same structure for the hired services. And this parametrization is made one, only one time through the specific analyze, analysis of each report that uh, the system generates. Once with this permanently, we have reports and we can make the process. Thank you very much for your participation. Dr. Edwin, we are about to finish this webinar. And I'm going to present uh, the present of the American Commission on Actuary Funding. on statistics from the University of Panama and holds a master's degree on actuarial sciences from the uh, University of Anahuac in Mexico City. I would like to thank, to start uh, thanking uh, each of the panelists by share, sharing in this afternoon his knowledge, his uh, their experiences and the information, the important information for all the actuaries and all those who works with these topics in our institution on social security through Latin America and the Caribbean and the member countries of CS. Definitely, we are not mistaken at the American Commission on Actuary and Funding of the Inter-American Center for Social Security Studies of the Inter-American Conference of Social Studies when we choose this topic that is very important, especially in pandemic times where we have seen that health costs have increased, especially by, by the people affected by COVID, direct or indirectly. It's because COVID, as we know, have lead uh, sequels, a lot of people, not only to the, to the health of the people, but also the costs we have to plan and prepare for the future. Therefore, it's important to know the best techniques that the countries are using. It's very important for us and very interesting. For example, in the Costa Rican case that uh, were implemented is electronic files and we could see how Costa Rica and Later, we invited other countries, how they use this tool to generate information that allows precisely to make these projections and these very important health services uh, budgets from the standpoint of view uh, of the science and with uh, actuarial uh, tools for establishing how much do we need. Thank you very much for all the panelists for the main uh, table for Dr. Daisy Corrales, uh, director of the uh, Inter-America, uh, director of the Inter-American Center for Social Security Studies, and our research maestro, Jorge Alberto Romero, who were, was very kind to help us, Dr. Wendolin, who has always been uh, here and helped these activities. 
for the, the improvement of our health systems in our countries. Thank you very much. And to close this activity, I'm going to give the floor to Dr. Doctora, the Daisy Corrales, yes. Thank you very much. After listening the presentations of all the panelists, I believe that the audience uh, have very clear all the the web that, that linked on um, actuary uh, services on institution of social securities, being one of the fundamental pillars on the search of sustainability of services. Here at the Inter-American Center for Social Security Studies, we have created a, a actuary school. In this school, the ideas uh, that uh, of the countries uh, are, are welcome we have seen very different scenarios in all the actuaries that we have contact and with the information system of Costa Rica, where we see a situation, a very complex situation. The, the certainty on data that are used by evidence are due to the quality of register, not only the quality of the register, but the way on which this information is processed. They, we, we heard all the national accounts mentioned by one of the countries because as we can see at the end, the electronic file that we said it was a, a very important alternative is another tool because statistical services on social securities are very complex. There's, for example, the national account um, allows to have a conceptual framework on how are the economic movements on the country and based with and based on this give a panorama so the institution have uh, have some the, the information to the cost because it's very different to to work only with the income because than working with a costing system it is very difficult because generally what are, we are interpreting is a spending of a already executed budget. And there are a lot of variables that in the register are not so such evident. All these tools, as well as all the, the groups related to diagnose topics would allow us to order the web, the health services and which service would we would have to give according to the cost because it's not uh, the same cost for example to make a a, a birth uh, in in a a birth in a first level of attention or in a third level of attention there are additional costs that make the, a process much more expensive that if we are talking with sustainability they are not necessary it is very clear for us that the effort that is done in the actuary departments and the needs of, of keeping, uh, keep uh, exchanging ideas and promoting knowledge uh, on act and tools is what will allow us a, a, a greater sustainability on health services, on pensions, and social uh, services on social security. Using money budget that uh, arrives from social security of uh, the affiliated, using that money correctly allows us to give us, us an efficient service and an adequate coverage. Therefore, from this, uh, from CS, we have we, we put you all this information available. I thank all the uh, the participants, the audience, and we can take what is the route that will continue. Uh, all the uh, tools that are appearing each day. I had the experience to be the, the actuarial and statistic areas, even the auditors, 
with very diverse uh, calculation ways because diversity of what is a social security exercise is such so complex that the tendency that we have to have a database each more time more certainly and allows us to make the best decision. And these best decisions are going to be fundamented in an excellent system that allows us to generate not only generate productivity indicators, but having a quality indicator required for, a, a, for all the adequate services. Systems, the systems are centered in, in the persons. And seeing all the investment made by the for the people, we also have to see the impact on the human being and what the human the social security is making to preserve the health and and being able to give a life quality to the inhabitants of the planet. We thank their participation and we keep working. Uh, in these topics, we have a very good program for this year with a diplomat on uh, actuary and out of courses and webinars where we transmit knowledge and we're uh, proposing for 2023 a very important thematic. Thank you very much.